Warning. Warning. The following video you're about to view will be considered rude, crude, and vile, but will contain harsh language of a graphic and adult nature. Views and opinions no one wants to hear with or agree with. Hear with, whatever. Viewer discretion is highly advised. If you don't want to hear harsh language, stop watching now. If you don't want to be offended, stop watching now. If you have any faith in humanity left, stop watching now. Continue to watch and you remain offended. It's your own fault. Good fucking morning. Uh, that's right. I'm here. It's 2014. And my camera doesn't want to fucking stay up. There we go. No. No. There. Fuck it. You can wait. Anyways, good fucking morning. It's January 5th, Sunday. 2014. Yeah, we didn't get one 20, uh, yesterday, because my, I have my reasons. Anyways, got my coffee, got the e-cig, and I'm knocking shit over. So on to the fucked up news. The first story of 2014 takes place in India. Well, the first story I found was fucked up enough. Anyways. There, now, the names have been withheld, not by me. I don't give a fuck. But names have been withheld. Apparently, there was a young girl who had a young boy come over to her house, said he lost his ID, and poured boiling hot water on her face. Now, there's no, there will never be a reason for something like this because it's fucking stupid. But his reasoning is because she unfriended him on Facebook. Okay, now you can see why she did. Apparently, he used to be decent or whatever. And as of late, he's been kind of uh, mean or cruel or whatever. I don't fucking know. So, because she unfriended him, he poured boiling hot water on her face. Poor girl's hospitalized now with 20% of her face burned. Third degree scarring now. Well, Will has scarring. Fucking douchebag deserves to get burned himself. Some of these stories are short. Deal with it. I want my fucking coffee. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, I was hoping I could start the new year off without a Florida story. I was wrong. Florida is a fucking safe haven for fucking freaks. And weird shit. Anyways, in Palm Beach, there's a woman, Lisa DeLoppy, Loppy, Lin Lisa DeLoppy. She was celebrating her, an anniversary of hers and her boyfriend's. They had been together a year and a half. Well, she celebrated by getting into a red Pontiac and trying to run the boyfriend over. I've heard a lot of rundown cases in Florida, too. Apparently, he said something that just pissed her off. It wasn't something massive like he was cheating on her or anything like that. Just, he said something that pissed her off. Maybe he made fun of Justin Bieber and she's a fan or something stupid like that. Anyway, so she got into her car and tried to run his ass down. Well, she missed. Ran over his bike, though, which sucks. And then crashed into his parked car. Of course... She's doing time now. Well, she's in jail. I don't know for how long. I don't know if he's going to bail her out. It's fucked up. And it's Florida. So I want to say I'm surprised, but I'm not. I'm really not. Oh, God. Anyways. Next fucking story. Now, this story actually comes in part thanks to a friend of mine, Dave. Uh, many faces of Dave on YouTube. Dave, if you're watching, thanks for the story, bro. He posted it on Facebook. I read it. It's fucking strange as hell, so, of course, I'm on my show. Uh, 
Again. You can wait. It's a new year. Have some fucking patience. Anyways. Now in Oregon. At least it's not Florida, right? In Oregon, there's a guy named Andrew Frey. When I read about this, I had to admit, I had to say I'm fucking impressed with this guy. Alright? Now, I'm not impressed for what he did in the beginning, but how he kept going. Andrew Frey was in some kind of restaurant. He was screaming obscenities. He was being rude and crude and vile. And he apparently, for whatever reason, decided to whip it out and start beating off in public, all right? Now, beating your shit in public, that's fucking nasty, all right? You never know there could be children any of thing. But, look at me, what happened next is why I give the man credit. Excuse me, they called the cops, all right? First, the cops tried to fucking taser him. Didn't work, man. Kept on going. And when he stood up, him, they went after him. Fifteen cops, okay? It took them fifteen cops to take him down. And all while he was fending them all off, he was still beating off at the same time. So while he's fighting cops with one hand, he's jerking off with the other. This man is persistent, I'll give him that. And apparently heavily resilient. But, yeah, beating off while fending off against 15 cops. I mean, that shows some kind of fucking strength. He must have been fucked up. I believe it said he, he later said he was fucked up on meth. But damn. Just damn. Anyways. Next fucking story. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Uh, there's a guy named Kristen, Tristan Meachin. And he's in Utah. And there he, here we go with another one of the super preachy, almost Westboro style. There's a guy, but not, I don't know if it's that to that, to that degree. He's in Utah. And he's decided to go on a hunger strike. Until Utah takes back their new law. Of legalizing gay marriage. All I have, and I kind of have a message to this guy, sort of, not directly, personally, but enjoy starving to death. Dude, knock it off, seriously. Everybody has a fucking right to marry whoever the fuck they want. Can you really gonna stop, like, two men or two women because they're the same sex? Why not stop two Christians because they're the same religion? Or two redheads because they both ginger? No. Just stop it. You're trying to stop people from marrying because of who they are. Leave it the fuck alone. Alright, leave it the fuck alone, you fucking, you fucking hate-mongering, hate-mongering prick. Uh, I firmly believe that homosexuals should be allowed to get married. Why the fuck not? Oh, I'm sorry, are they not humans? Are they not people? Seriously, this shit needs to end. I mean, you don't see any problems with white women and black men or vice versa or any other mixed race getting together and getting married. No. Seriously. Anyways. Next fucking story. The uh, last one of the day. This one is kind of cool to me because I'm a geek and I like sci-fi. Well... That is really fucked up, and what the fuck is most of my other stories that have been on the show. It's kind of weird, and it's kind of off, so Matt figured, why not? It made me giggle. Anyways, there's a guy named David Waddell. He's from North Carolina. Uh, he's a member of the town council in um, Indian Trail, North Carolina. And he decided to resign his post. Apparently, he was still good until December of 2015. He decided to resign it early, um, for whatever reason, uh, nothing bad or anything, not like they were stealing or anything, he just was done, he was tired, whatever, okay, fine, but he decides to do it, <clears throat> and this is how he does it, the letter of resignation is completely done, in Klingon, <laughs> yeah, Klingon, and I don't mean like he just wrote out the words in English, but in the Klingon words, no, he actually did it in the fucking Klingon alphabet. So nobody could really fucking read it. Now, a lot of people are giving him shit, calling it unprofessional or whatever. I think it's fucking genius. He shows his love for Star Trek in a way no, any, no other person ever has. 
That, that's a great way to fucking quit your job. Letter of resignation in Klingon. Or if you're a token fan, do it in Elvish. You know, why not? I think it's original. Yeah, they're fake languages, but they're actually recognized today. Can be fully translated into several other languages. So why the fuck not? It would be funnier is if his boss could read, write, and speak Klingon. And he'd probably give him extra credit. Well, not, it's not a school, but I don't know. Fuck it. Anyways. Some call it unprofessional. I call it awesome. That's my opinion. Anyways. That's about it for the first episode of 2014. It's relatively short. Because thankfully not enough fucked up shit happened in 2013 or 2014 yet. It's only the first week of January. Give it a couple more days. Trust me. Plenty more fucked up shit's gonna find its way out of my show. Next week I'll probably end up having seven stories because 2014 will be officially kicked in. Well, anyways, first and foremost, happy fucking New Year, fuckers. Yeah. And you know the routine by now. Hit the like button down below. You got an idea for a new topic on the show or you found a new fucked up story you want me to cover? Leave a comment below. Let me know that shit. And, uh, you know, if you like what you see, you want to see more? Little red fucking button down there called subscribe. Click it because you know you want to. And thanks for watching. I'm Justice on the fucking internet. Here every week to kill your faith in humanity. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to work that into some kind of a slogan or some kind. I don't fucking know. Anyways, later.